All right, so um, this is how you calculate a sample size for your experiment. So to start off, you want to understand what the conversion rate you already see is. So let's say you're trying to figure out um, or you're trying to look at the conversion rate from the number of users who open your site to click on your CTA. And let's say the baseline conversion right now is about 15%. So that's the number you'd put here. The minimal detectable effect um, is the, detect the, the effect that you're actually looking for. So I'm only interested in running experiments if I see a greater than 15% um, increase. And so what this will do is it'll tell me the sample size I need to actually accurately detect that. And so the higher the minimal detectable effect is, um, the lower the sample size I need, the lower it is, the higher the sample size I need. So I want to see a 10% increase um, in our baseline conversion rate with my experiments. So I'm going to need a sample size of 214 per variation. So I'll need one for the control group, and I'll need one for uh, the actual experiment group. Next is uh, the statistical power. So this just says, you know, 80% of the time, this is going to be accurate. If you want to increase it and make it more accurate, you can do that. Um, don't go below 80%, just a, just a good group of them. So I'm going to say 90%. So I'll run my experiment. And the next thing is coming back and actually doing a chi-squared test. And so this is to actually see if the variation is significant. So my sample size was 292. So I'll go to the chi-squared test. Um, and in the sample one, I had 292. In sample two, I had 292. Um, in the first one, I had 15 users um, who actually clicked through the CTA. And in my experiment, I had 22 users. Unfortunately, there is no significant difference here because the p-value is, um, uh, is too high. But if I had 50, then the p-value would be low enough that I can say that there's actual significant difference here. You can also adjust your confidence level. Um, and so, you know, if you have a confidence level of 80, uh, likely a, a smaller number uh, might work out. But if you have a higher confidence level, um, it, it's not significant anymore. So that's how you use these tools, and that's how you can determine the sample size and if your experiment has been successful.